Hello everybody and welcome to the GMS Magazine channel. I am Paco Garcia, your host. And uh, today I bring you a let's take a look at show for uh, Black Void, the core rulebook. Uh, this is being written by Christian Svaldson. I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly, sorry. Um, and published with the aim, with the help of Modiphius. Now I got this uh, game as a review copy and I wanted to do two videos about it because there's a huge amount to to um, to develop on this game and tell you about in this game. So this first video is going to be just a look at the production values and whether this game is, is worth uh, what you have to pay to get your hands on it. The book is a hardback, very hardback, beautifully illustrated in the front, even though you wouldn't know what this is just by looking at it. Um, it's a guard from a city. Just, just so you know. Um, Black Void doesn't really tell you an awful lot about what the game is from the cover. Just there's the core rulebook. But it looks very good. It's a 400 pages tome. This is huge and very, very heavy indeed. In the back though, they've used very cleverly the space to actually tell you what this is all about. And what's all about is an awful lot. This is a post, 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 post apocalyptic world. Uh, through some means, Earth has disappeared around Babylonian times, but humanity has not uh, been extinct because the event that destroyed the planet created or well, was some voids conduits that can take you to thousands of worlds. So humanity has been scattered all over the place. This is a multi-planet universe where humans have had to find a way to survive, uh, evolve and uh, well thrive in some places. So this is huge. Very, very huge. To be honest, I found the whole thing very planescapey. I liked it because the whole premise is based in this city, which is very big. This is kind of the nexus of the void, which is why you can find so many of these little portals, or not so little in some places, portals, that come with a caveat, because if you're near those, the radiation, or whatever you want to call it, can mutate you and affect you. And that's not necessarily a good thing. Something else this book does very well indeed is that it introduces you to esoteric creatures. Those are creatures that actually live inside the void and they are weird as heck. I'm telling you, really, really strange. But I will delve into them a bit more in depth when I do the full review of the game. Uh, for now, let's, let's concentrate on what it looks like inside. Inside we're going to find a mix of things. For me, reading this has been a mixed bag because personally I'm not very keen on such dark backgrounds. It is hard to read. The table of content is quite detailed and as you can tell, there is a lot to it as in a lot to it. And as you can tell in here, there is a tables index. Yes, there are, there are a ton of tables in this book. The game is crunchy, not difficult at all, but it is crunchy. Inside, we have a two column standard layout, which is good enough. It has a couple of things that I've spoken to the author about, uh, some by design and some because this is the first book that he's laid out. To be the first one, you know, to tackle a 400 pages tone when you've never done it before, kudos. That is amazing because layout is one of the most tedious and finicky things in book publishing. 
there's so many things that you have to keep in mind and so many little details that you just don't realize. Like, for example, in this case, some paragraphs run right into the other, where some others have a line in between, which is how I prefer it, because separating the paragraphs makes it a little bit easier to read, which is good. The illustrations are lovely. The book is absolutely full of them, completely packed with them. It has enough examples of play, which is very good. And reading, even though to me is a little bit difficult because I don't think that there could be more contrast between the black of the letters of the font and the background, there could be a little bit more contrast to make it slightly easier. Um, but it's actually well written. It's obvious in places that English is not the mother tongue of the author, but that actually adds to the charm of it. And of course, I am biased about it. Uh, there is one thing that I also spoke to him about, and it's the book constantly mentions his or her instead of using the neutral they or, you know, citing for one pronoun. It, to, to keep the inclusivity and the diverse uh, aspect of, you know, the game itself, the setting itself, uh, he's gone for the he or she very often. Is nothing wrong with it at all. It's just that it's something that will catch your eye in many places and you will think, why is he saying he or she constantly? There is a reason behind it. You may not like it, but there is a reason behind it. And no, it's nothing to do with political correctness. It is to do with maintaining the fact that this is a truly huge, huge, rich, diverse universe that it, we wanted to reflect in the, the notion and making sure that everybody can see that either person, you know, character, race, creature can do pretty much anything in this game. So I applaud it. I would have used the neutral day, but I applaud them doing this. So um, there are also some inconsistencies in the layout. If we go from two columns to three, which it just throws me out a little bit. It's weird. Why? I don't understand it, but hey, fine. Whatever. The tables are very clear. That is something I did like an awful lot. There are an awful lot of tables. And they're all very, very clear. And there are tables for really everything, which is amazing because tables are the one thing that you can either take or leave. So there are tables for everything. It is wonderful. You know, personality archetypes table. The character sheet is lovely. Um, yes. It suffers from the same as the rest of the book, not enough contrast between the words and the background, but the design itself, lovely. Really, really like it. Very well thought out. I guess I was saying, look, table. Do you want, do you want more tables? More tables, loads of them, and, you know, more tables and we can come here and find another table there are tables all over the place evidently the author loves tables and quite frankly because so do i because they make life so easy it's a very easy way to display an awful lot of information that's already there for you i'm definitely not going to complain about it so from the point of view of production, do I think that uh, this book is worth it? Yes, absolutely yes. Um, I have enjoyed it immensely, immensely reading it. Um, the system has a lot to offer and in the next video I will go in great detail as to what this is truly all about. But if you're looking for a new kind of planescape feel to it, of having the city where 
myriad words converging to that you can go into and it's really hard and really dangerous with some absolutely bizarre creatures, Black Void is for you. Trust me, Black Void from that point of view is for you. Is it perfect? No, but I will tell you about it in the following video when I, re when I release the review in full. Until the next time, I'd love to hear what you have to say about this game. Um, so please do leave me your comments. And until the next time, thank you very, very much indeed for being there. And I will talk to you very, very soon. Take care.